Well, rumours have been flying for months about the tense relationship between Meghan and Kate, but now an insider has dropped a bombshell with claims it's not the duchesses who are duelling. Instead, apparently it's William and Harry caught up in an ugly royal rift. From the moment they were born, William and Harry were everything to Diana. It was that love that, that even if she was on the other side of a room, that you, as a son, you could, you could feel it. Then, still boys, they became united in unimaginable grief. But claims Prince Harry has accused Prince William of trying to wreck his relationship with Meghan. Their rift has reportedly intensified to the point that the brothers even compete over palace appointments. Do you ever have disagreements about things? <laughs> Oh, yes. It allegedly began when Harry started dating Meghan. The two princes sat down for a chat where William questioned if the Suits actress was a good match. That left Harry fuming. Once Meghan moved to London, she's said to have felt rejected by Kate, who was battling morning sickness at the time. Working as, as family does have its challenges, of course it does. A source told The Sun, it's my opinion that Harry feels he couldn't protect his mother, so he's going all out to protect his wife. This is his way of atoning, and he is so sensitive, he often sees criticism or negativity where there isn't any. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter joins us now. Sibling rivalry, one thing. Uh, this sounds like it's getting serious, though. What do you think? Well, I think really what we're seeing here is royals, they really are just like us. It's very easy to paint them as two-dimensional figures, but they're very real human beings, and so spats and disagreements are a natural part of family life. But I think in this instance, William will have meant no malice whatsoever towards Meghan. My guess is he was embodying the protective older brother role, the future head of the family, the future king role, and saying to Harry, are you sure this romance is moving very quickly? But more importantly, is Meghan sure? Does she know what she's getting? into and I think that's probably what Harry was reacting to nobody wants to justify why they're madly in love and so this is really just a butting of very stubborn heads from what we can tell they're very different personalities these boys which is fine and you know yeah. brothers have a spat every now and then if this is to be believed um, but this you know Kensington Palace is so big on branding and image and keeping everything in-house and they branded these two young couples as the fab four so how damaging are these kind of stories to the royal family. Well, long term, this is going to be a little bit of a wobble. When we look at the history of the royal family, the abdication crisis, toe-sucking crisis, uh, Diana's tell-all book, those were much more damaging than these two brothers having a, a bit of a headbutt over matters of the heart. So I think by the time baby Sussex rolls around in early spring, everything's going to be hunky-dory again. This will just be a blip in, in the relationship. But, of course, it's disconcerting seeing dirty laundry aired in, in the newspapers, and I think the boys, the Fab Four, will be keen for this story to move on. Yeah, exactly. But surely, I mean, people disagree all the time, whether they're related or not. What's the big yes. deal? It's been said that Harry is overly protective um, of Meghan and that's causing friction. Do you think that's true? Harry is very protective of Meghan and he's going to be like a grizzly bear when his baby comes along. But William is equally protective of Kate. And so on that matter, I think these boys can relate 100 percent. I think probably where the friction has come is, as we were talking about before, Harry fell madly in love very, very quickly with Meghan. He is quite stubborn. William is equally stubborn. And I just don't think he would have liked his romance being called into question. There he was floating on cloud nine, talking to bunny rabbits and birdies. He was so happy. And William suddenly putting the spin on it, are you sure, are you sure? William's being very sensible. So I think that's probably what caused the friction, is that Harry just didn't want to have to explain why he was madly in love. He just wanted everyone on board with it. And, of course, everybody is on board with it now. It's just that every now and then there's going to be a little rumble, as there is in any family around the world. Mm.